Food for thoughts for those hawks on the ECB. Today's inflation data. Yeah, well, we've had a lot of really encouraging data from, from Europe this year, this week, Mark. We've had uh, some strong German uh, employment data. Same thing out of Spain. Really strong PMIs across the board. But the thing, as you say, that will give the hawks uh, some room for pause is the fact that we're really not seeing any of this strong sort of growth type data and, 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 and macroeconomics uh, data feeding into inflation. And until we get a pickup, and, and, and the, the ECB does believe we'll get it this year, I think that the hawks will be kept in check until we actually see that traction uh, in, the, in the inflation, both the, both the headline reading and the core reading, Mark. And, and I mean, I suppose it's a question of a matter of time, as you say, Richard. I'm not saying it'll take a certain amount of time, but there was some inflation positive content within the PMIs this week, wasn't there? Yeah, I, th I think a lot of the sort of anecdotal stuff we're hearing is pointing to a job market that will start to produce the type of wage gains uh, that, that will be commensurate with rising inflation. Uh, it's, been a long, it's been a long time coming, Mark, and I think a lot of people are, you know, are growing quite impatient with this. But, but the ECB, I think, does believe that we will get the type of wage gains to push that inflation heading in, into the right direction where they can actually then proceed to normalize policy. I think given all this in terms of what it means for the markets is that, is that there's reason to believe the euro will do well this year, but it's not really like a, a slam dunk trade. It's not one of the, we're not going to get the same type of gains this year that we got last year. And I think it's because of that uncertainty. Until inflation picks up, the euro will rise, but it won't rise as strongly as it did last year, Mark.